Hello, this is Scotty, and in this video, he is going to test out two different types of feeding bowls. Like most dogs, he loves to eat. He's actually a foodie. But eating too fast can lead to health and digestive problems. So we're going to actually time how fast it takes him to eat out of a regular bowl with no special features versus a slow feeder bowl, which is supposed to help slow down a dog's eating pace. So let's get into it and see if the slow feeder actually works. Are you ready, Scotty? This is the regular bowl we're testing first. He gets one half cup twice a day, which I measure out, and that is what is recommended for his breed and size. Not much, but I don't want him to get overweight. Sometimes I put fixings on his food, like probiotics or other elixirs for dog health. Sometimes he also gets toppings with fresh chicken, which he loves. But for this test, I'm just going to put kibbles in the bowl so that there's no variables. So here we go. I'm giving him his food. Scotty is a cultured dog, so he prefers to eat al fresco on the back patio. And before I give him his food, I tell him to sit before I give him the command to eat. So let's time the regular bowl. Okay, eat it. So there we go. It took Scotty 47 seconds to gobble down his food in his regular bowl. Now we're going to do the slow feeder bowl test the next day. I'm also scooping out one half cup just like before. And I'm going to make sure that the kibbles are spaced out evenly in the grooves of the bowl to give Scotty a real challenge because I want him to work for his food this time. Same as last time, I'm bringing his food out to the patio so he can eat al fresco. I ask him to sit and then I give him the command to eat. So here we go, timing the slow feeder bowl. One thing I noticed that really slowed him down with the slow feeder bowl was that he thinks he's all done, but then he comes back to realize there's more kibbles in the bowl. The slow feeder bowl definitely worked. It took almost double the amount of time as the regular bowl, 47 seconds versus 92 seconds. It actually took him longer to eat than his older sister, which is good because he always finishes eating before her and bothers her while she's still eating. So the bottom line is that the slow feeder is a better option. It took Scotty longer to eat, hopefully slowing down his digestion, and it provides needed mental stimulation. What do you think, Scotty? Which bowl do you prefer, regular or slow feeder? Well, that's it for this test. We hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.